Right. So, uh, Sajitha, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I am uh, Sajitha Patrin. I'm based in uh, Colombo. At the moment, I work at uh, a company called Sorosign, uh, where I work as the automation lead there. Um, so, my uh, area of expertise is testing and building up test automation platforms. I see. That sounds very interesting. Uh, so, when was it that you actually completed your software engineering degree, uh, Sajitha? Uh, that is back in 2013, uh, February. I see. Uh, Sajitha, uh, immediately after completing the degree, what was your next step? Uh, as soon as I graduated, I got the opportunity to fly to UK for my master's. Uh, I got the opportunity to study in Anglia Ruskin University um, as a student exchange program from Java Institute. And I think it's one of the rewarding things that I got in my uh, early stages of the life. So that's quite an achievement. Immediate, almost immediately after completing your degree, you went for your master's. Yes. And that Exactly, like uh, I didn't wait for at least a couple of weeks here even. So that's, that's, uh, that must have been a very interesting experience. So what was the experience like at Ang Anglia Raskin? Yeah, it's a totally different experience. Uh, and the fortunate thing is I got the opportunity to study from UK. And that's a different culture, different uh, uh, lifestyle and uh, different exposure. And, and of course, it's an international exposure because I meet different people from all books of uh, the world. And I think that's an amazing one. Thanks to Java Institute, definitely. So how did the Java Institute prepare you for your higher studies as well? Did it support you in any way? Uh, yes, in many different ways, actually, after that, even after that, even. Uh, so uh, my program was supposed to be like three years and I was, I got the opportunity and I got the opportunity to complete in within three, uh, two, two years time. And they were very helpful in uh, uh, having personalized exam for uh, myself uh, to uh, speed up the process so that I can st start my MSc as soon as I completed my bachelor's. I see. So when you take a three-year degree program and compress it to two years, mm -hmm. uh, did, didn't you find it stressful? How did you balance it? Uh, well, uh, uh, since we were interested, we didn't find it stressful we were working days and nights uh, some days we started uh, we finished around 2 a.m in the morning and next day we come around to alone and it was really interesting and good times well spent time with people with friends and of course uh, lots of knowledge were grabbed um yeah overall it was a it was a positive experience very pleasant experience so uh, Sajita, after you completed your, uh, you know, studies, that is your bachelor's and your master's, what was the first company that you joined? Uh, I joined a, a company called Info. It was earlier called GT Nexus, uh, a US-based company. Uh, that's a multinational company as well. So I joined as a software engineer and I got the opportunity to promote as a senior software engineer. I worked there for five years building automation platforms, uh, helping manual testing to onboard uh, the automation, test automation process. So uh, during your time at the Java Institute, how did those uh, lessons and how did those uh, training help you in your career? Um, uh, and if you have gone through the curriculum, the first three months would be, I would call it no code sessions. So there are no codes at all. So we don't even know what we are going to do with codes for the first three months. So we were trained to uh, draw things, uh, draw use cases, find business, different business processes and draw use cases. Lots of group activities. And then finally we had to pro produce a project. Uh, we call it architectural uh, design project, uh, which composed of like thousand pages. And so that enhances the, uh, the critical thinking and uh, I would say problem solving, team working, and of course, uh, product designing as well. That is one of my favorite things. And uh, I think I bestowed from Java Institute. 
So most of these skills are skills I think you gain over time with experience when you're in the industry. Mm-hmm. So yes. is it correct to say that you got those uh, experiences and skills while being an undergraduate? Yes, correct. So generally people grab this while they are being in the industry, but we get the opportunity to have it in the first three months. So when you went into the industry, you were almost like an experienced uh, software engineer, isn't it? Yes. So I, I always uh, had that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, opportunity and uh, the reward of having these skills with me. So I I got the uh, opportunity to work with most of the senior guys straight away within the company because of these things. That's fantastic to hear. So... Uh... What can you tell me about your experience with the lecture panel and the teaching methodology at the Java Institute? I think I would say uh, Java Institute has a very unique style of teaching, starting from Dr. Ishant Siribaddana, Dr. Bhati Tisera, Mr. Sela, uh, Mr. Buddhika. They were all, I, I got the opportunity to learn from all of them. And I. Um, they are very knowledgeable and uh, it is very easy to reach out to them and ask for anything, any help. Uh, they were very helpful. And uh, I think uh, that's really valuable. Uh, I think the Java Institute has a very valuable hazard. That is the best lecture panel, one of the best lecture panels. I think uh, that is also valuable to these students as well. So we really very, dedicated as well. So we are very pleased to hear that you had a very good experience and that you gained a lot of knowledge from them. So. Sajitha, so looking back uh, at your career so far, uh, what do you feel about what you have achieved over the past uh, past few years? Um, this is my, I'm completing the seventh year of experience in the service. And uh, looking back, I think I have gained lots of experience, especially working with the higher management executives uh, I was able to start that uh, at the early stages, like I said, because, thanks to Java Institute, of course. And uh, uh, when I was starting, I, I am more into test automation and testing domain. So when I started back, uh, the domain was not very popular. Now it is getting popular and I am seven years done in that domain, which is uh, very, you know, very helpful uh, when I'm working with the colleagues and of course managing people I have lots of you know hands-on experience and as well as uh, management experience that I've gained for the last couple of years as well right so Sajita uh, now may I ask how old you are uh, sure that's I'm um, 30 right so you just just turned 30 but you've already gained seven years of experience yeah and at the highest level. So that's quite an achievement. Yeah, thank you. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so what are your future ambitions, uh, Sajid? That's a dream I had from Java Institute uh, to become an architect. Uh, so in my domain, I would say test automation architect. Uh, starting uh, when I'm talking about the hierarchy, it starts from uh, an engineer, senior engineer, lead depending on the company, it's going to be a senior lead and then going to be an automation uh, uh, architect. So the the role of the architect is to design the overall uh, uh, test automation platforms, test automation strategy, architecture, and many more, uh, especially designing the uh, testing paradigm. So he owns that. So I just want to be one of those guys. So, in, in other words, to be like a creator. So, you are at the highest, yes. highest level there. Finally, Sajita, uh, from your experiences, what advice could, would you give the next generation of uh, software engineers and undergraduates at the Java Institute? I think first, for most, uh, uh, love what you're doing or find, what you, or find something you love uh, doing and then uh, keep doing that. Don't stop it. Learn hard, and especially if, if when you're studying in Java Institute. So follow the ambition. You know, work hard. Uh, give your fullest to the. Uh, with give your fullest within the you know within three two three years. So definitely you will gain a lot after that. 
and believe in what you are doing and of course take control of what you are doing and as well as uh, never stop learning right those are all very good advice that you gave sajitha so thank you for that and on behalf of the java institute uh, i'd like to wish you all the very best in your future endeavors and uh, may may good things come to you in the years ahead thank you very much and i always wish all the best uh, for the java institute thank you sajitha thank you